You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. So now let's look at how we solve inequalities. Um, so you could have an, uh, what's similar to an equation, but instead of something being equal to something else, it's greater than, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. When you solve inequalities, you're going to do just about all the same things you do if you're solving a normal equation. The only major rule that you need to remember that's different is that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to switch the sign. So if it's greater than and then you multiply or divide by a negative, it's going to switch around and become less than. Other than that, you're still going to do all the same steps you would have done if it was a normal equation. So let's look at an example. Here it says solve for x in the statement below. 5 is greater than negative 3x minus 1. So the first thing we'd do if this was a regular equation is add 1 to both sides, and that gets rid of the minus 1. Um, so now we have 6 is greater than negative 3x. So if this was a normal equation, we'd divide by negative 3, so we're going to do the same thing here with our inequality. But when we divide by a negative, or multiply as the case may be, we have to switch the sign. So we divide by negative 3, and then we take that sign and we turn it around. So now we have negative 2 is less than x. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.